Yeah, exactly. Time in. Box. So, round six of this eight round fight. The truth of the matter is, I feel like the fight should have been stopped. Oh, you certainly can make an argument for that. I mean, does, does Delgado have a chance to win? No. You talk about all these punches Brendan Figueroa is landing. Very reminiscent of what his brother did. His brother gave us one of our great fights in Showtime history when he fought Arakawa in San Antonio about five years ago. Figueroa, to his credit, still busy. Three punch combination from Delgado. A couple of pity pad shots from Figueroa. There's a left hand over the top by Figueroa. You know, Barry, we made this point during the Baranchik fight last night on our special edition show. But just because a fighter is punching back doesn't mean the referee can't stop the fight. In the old days, that was reason for a referee to let a beating keep going. Not anymore. If a fighter doesn't, if the referee determines a fighter doesn't have much of a chance to win, and that fighter is punching back but not dangerously, so then stop the fight if he's taking a beating. Yeah, it? and we saw that last night with the Baranchik fight. Yes. yes. There's a left hand again from Figueroa. Again, Delgado back to the ropes. And in this case, the referee Gregorio Alvarez doesn't seem particularly concerned about what's happening. I'd love to see him pull the plug if the corner doesn't. I would too. It just is. It's just so to let this guy take any more punishment. And I realize he's fighting back, but he does not have a prayer of knocking Figaro out, which would be the only way he could win this fight. Inside of it, we're remaining in round six. And I hope Delgado's trainer was right. When he said one more round. One more round. Yeah. Delgado. Again, he gets there with a shot every now and then. And he gets a rise out of the crowd. But Figueroa comes right back as he has every time Delgado's gotten a shot. Yeah, if I were Delgado, I wouldn't punch. Because <laughs> every time he does, he gets beaten up in return. They just have to stop this fight. Ten seconds remaining. The referee can do it too, don't forget. It he doesn't should. have to be the he corner, I agree. The corner should do it first. Okay, so it's the seventh round. What are you thinking? You look very tired. Yeah. What are you thinking? What are you thinking about? Let me get some Vaseline. Let me know. Whatever you tell me. You looked a little better in this round, but but you tell me. You tell me. You look fine, but huh? You look good. We keep going. We keep going. Another round. Uh, let me see how I'm in, in this round. Let's see how we do in this round. You know what, you, you, you did get him good in that, that last round, but you, just keep it going. This is getting to the point, I believe, Steve, of being incomprehensible. I mean, I, I, I really, truly believe this fight should be stopped. Probably should have been stopped a couple of rounds ago. The referee is not even a casual observer in the corner. And, uh, of course, any fighter, fighters are game just by nature. He's going to say, sure, let's keep going. That's right, a fight, you can't depend on the fighter to pull the plug on himself. They don't, they're, they're, they're not, that's not how they're wired. Well, Rodolfo Medina in Delgado's corner is asking the fighter what he thinks. Well, what do you, what do you say? What do you say? Of well, course. That's not the right way to handle it. And he's delusional if he thinks he did better in that last round. He had one punch. You pointed this out earlier. Every time Delgado does get there with a shot, he gets four in the answer. Yeah. It's as if he wakes Figueroa up. 
Figueroa is probably out of answers. He's hit him with everything. That was a nice left hook to the stomach. It was, and it almost doubled Delgado up. Not a knockdown, says referee Gregorio Alvarez. It's shameful. And it's also a corner who obviously has no regard for their fighter, that he's just a product. Yeah, I agree with you 100%, Barry. Well, uh, now, finally, it's stopped, and it's not stopped by his corner, it's stopped by the official. They would have applauded three rounds ago, too, if the fight was stopped. Well, I hope uh, Giovanni Delgado's corner is very proud. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. Right. Terrible. Right. I mean, it took a lot of punishment, and a lot of it was unnecessary. Yeah, his face was misshapen. He's misshapen. And, I mean, from the other perspective, from Brandon Figueroa's perspective, yeah, it was good work. That's about all you could say. Right. He wasn't challenged. Yeah, there's no criticism of him. He did what he had to do. And the numbers, I mean, just look at how lopsided those numbers are. It's crazy. 850 punches Figueroa threw in less than seven rounds. Yeah, that's a, that's a staggering total. All right, let's get up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Maybe he'll lie and tell us it was the fifth round. Ladies and gentlemen, with a time of 1 minute 55 seconds in round number 7, a referee in charge, Gregorio Alvarez, stops the contest upon request of the corner. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated, Brandon, the heartbreaker, Figueroa. One point I want to make. The state commissions don't like it when corners stop fights. Very often, the corner will tell the commissioner in the corner to stop it. That very well could have been what happened there. We don't know. I, I believe it was, actually. I thought I saw somebody who I don't believe was associated with the fighter uh, step up and say, that, say to the referee, that's it, stop the fight. In any case, Figueroa is a winner. He remains undefeated. It's a fight that went on far longer than it should have, and it wraps up an interesting evening for us here on Show Extreme. Well, we saw uh, Mario Barrios please the hometown crowd with the perfect ending, a one-punch knockout. And the Luna-Comey fight was really exciting, Barry, a very meaningful fight because Comey now looking at a possible return bout with a fighter he lost a split decision to, the IBF lightweight champion, Robert Easter. Yeah, that was a high-level fight, and I thought it was interesting, Robert Easter's interview with Brian Custer, and uh, really not giving much regard to Comey, saying uh, he wants he wants somebody else. He wants Mikey Garcia. Well, Mikey Garcia is going to be a bigger payday. There's no doubt about that. But uh, he knows how tough Comey already is. All right, I think we're going to get a chance to see exactly what happened here in this fight. And I didn't recognize the guy. Who's, I don't recognize that guy. You know, he's a, he's a state commissioner. That's what I thought. But, but there's a possibility, at least, that the corner said to him, stop the fight. Because the corner is not supposed to get on the apron and do it himself. That's an automatic disqualification. Well, the bottom line is there's your winner, Brandon Figueroa. And he did uh, what he needed to do. So, very interesting night of boxing here on show extreme and really we're just getting started let's go back topside once again our partner brad custer cuss all right hall of famer thank you very much great night of action here and let's review all the undercard action here from san antonio we begin